Well, here we have the sawmill. I thought I'd do a follow-up from the uh, first video I showed you. Uh, so we'll get uh, we'll get started. When I ordered the mill, I ordered an extra extra track section, and uh, the mill does not come with a trailer, but the company provides plans. So I built the uh, I built the trailer using their plans um, for the most part, and. Uh, I went a little different when it came to uh, came to making my axle. I went uh, straight axle, but if you're going to be doing a lot of towing on roads, you'll probably want uh, want to put springs, uh, leaf springs, and uh, then I added uh, added these uh, jacks to help get it up and down. These are just uh, in the middle. Then I got another two at the front on each side. And at the back, I came up with these bars that just uh, slide down. And uh, I welded uh, welded some shim stock to the side, so my uh, so my uh, mill doesn't slide side to side. And I also bolted it. I made some uh, brackets, welded them to my to my trailer frame, and then uh, they come out and. Uh, able to bolt so the mill won't slide that way and there you can kind of see the bracket on the other side and uh, I did a similar setup for brackets to the front bolted so the mill is fairly secure this setup here we saw me uh, saw me there undoing is a custom setup I uh, I drilled drilled into the one upright post here and uh, bolted it and uh, this piece is welded to the trailer but basically now when I'm not using it or uh, in transport the mill the mill won't slide I still sometimes just put a block just as a double safety and uh, so basically this pin system as you saw in the first video just easy to undo and uh, one on this side and one over here and eventually if I wanted to I could add two more to the front and uh, now the mill, the mill only wiggles a little bit. And uh, this is the uh, lubrication tank for the blade. I drew, uh, in that video I was just using soap and water. And uh, there's the uh, there's the valve. Um, these uh, lock uh, lock it in place from going up and down the mill. One on each side. Uh, this is the uh, blade tension here and uh, this setup here controls the height and obviously this would be your throttle and these pieces here you one here and one further down put them into your log and your log won't slide these are the upright posts that uh, you put so the log doesn't uh, roll off uh, roll off the trailer and uh, between having these up enough and that locked in place your uh, log doesn't move this here is just a safety bar and it lines up when you have these at the right height and you're cutting these uh, you're coming along this bar will hit uh, hit this first rather than your blade hitting it so when you come to stop you know that uh, you got to readjust uh, readjust the height of these and reevaluate the situation you're in and uh, that's where the lubrication line comes down and here is the uh, here's where the uh, manual you can keep your manual uh, came with a pair of gloves earplugs and safety glasses and uh, yeah so a nice waterproof spot and I was able to, uh, top of my extra track extension, I was able to get a uh, nice cover that you saw me take off there. So uh, covers the main main setup here, your engine and your blades. So uh, and in that video there, um, 
I was getting a whole bunch of tear out. And it was shooting this way. And uh, that's because my uh, blade wasn't aligned properly. It was uh, away from the uh, little bearings there. But I uh, now uh, have everything uh, aligned properly so you won't get, uh, I won't be getting that tear out anymore. So overall, uh, pretty pleased with uh, pretty pleased with the purchase here, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think if you want to see more videos. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.